What's up YouTube, my name is Inch95 and I'm bringing you guys my updated PC build. I finally got in all the parts today. I got the last three parts in the mail and I'm so excited to start working on this PC. This will likely be a two part video. This is only going to be a showcase video of the parts that I got and my specs because I know some of you guys were asking about the different parts and specs of my PC. I think it's a pretty decent PC build and uh, I want to share it with you guys because I know some of you guys are interested in this stuff out there and some of the people that aren't necessarily native uh, you know, audience viewers to my channel uh, they may be interested in this as well, so I figured I'd share this with YouTube and uh, maybe I can get some feedback from you guys and maybe you guys can give me some suggestions maybe for future PC builds or things that I can do to improve this PC build if I really wanted to, but as of now this is the build that I'm going, you know, going to invest in and this is what I'm going with, so let me know what is you guys' PC build and yeah, also let's get right into it. First and foremost, we have to go with Windows. Obviously Windows 10 is my jam. That's just what I'm going with. For the RAM, I have two sticks of 16 gigabyte RAM from G-Skills. Uh, the Rip Jaws 5 edition, these are pretty awesome. I don't really think I'll be needing four sticks of this. I had an opportunity to get four sticks. I only went with two. I don't think it's necessary to get four. For the, for the solid state drive, I went with the Samsung 850 Pro, one terabyte. I think this is more than enough. I may add in an additional hard drive as well as a couple other things like a, like a DVD drive or something like that or a CD drive burner. For now, I think this is more than sufficient for, you know, for, for, for my needs at least. For the CPU, I went with the 6800K Intel i7 uh, core processor. This is an awesome processor and I think it uh, it's going to do me a ton of good things moving forward and uh, it's just going to be, it's pretty powerful at least in my experience before and from all my research that I've seen. So uh, yeah, I think this is a great processor. For the power supply, I went with the Corsair HX1000i. This is a 1000 watt uh, you know, power supply, it is a platinum, uh, platinum 80 plus. I think this is an awesome power supply, but the only thing is, I went with platinum instead of gold, even though it was a little bit more expensive. It was only like 20 or 30 bucks more expensive, but I think this is a great power supply just because it has all everything I need in terms of watts. I don't think I'll need 1200 watts personally for this particular build. I don't plan on adding like any additional graphics cards or anything like that. Uh, so I think this is more than, more than sufficient personally. For the graphics card, which is probably the most expensive component in this entire build, I went with the MSI. GeForce GTX 1080 Gaming X graphics card. This graphics card is absolutely phenomenal. Probably one of the top graphics cards right now. I know, I think it's a relatively new release if I'm not mistaken. I could have gone with like the, not, I think it's the 980 if I'm not mistaken, but this is awesome. I, I think this is just going to be so much easier for me to do all sorts of rendering and, you know, streaming and everything with this video card. Uh, I don't think I'll need to add another, uh, another graphics card anytime soon. So this is an awesome graphics card. And uh, if you can snag one, I know it was, uh, it, was, it was relatively easy for me to get one. I was fortunate enough that one of the stores in my area happen to have one final uh, one final one of these in stock so uh, I did snag this locally most people I know get theirs online but this particular item I did manage to get in store so that was pretty lucky and fortunate for the CPU liquid cooler I was actually gonna go with the Swift tech uh, 240 but unfortunately it doesn't fit my case and I didn't really want to switch the case so I did end up going with the H105 from Corsair. I think this is a more than sufficient enough CPU cooler. Uh, like I said, it really just varies for me. I think this is just great because it fits my case. Uh, I think it's a 800 to 2700 RPM, if I'm not mistaken, for the fans. Uh, I could probably always switch out the fans if I really wanted to, as well as the ones in the case, but this is a pretty solid uh, CPU cooler, I think, and it's gonna keep my, my build pretty cool. Uh, especially, you know, with the graphics card and the CPU. I may end up getting a, a cooler for my graphics card as well, but I don't think I need one right now, personally. The last piece of the actual hardware itself is actually this, which is the biggest piece. It's the Rampage V Extreme motherboard. Uh, it's the 3.1 USB, obviously it comes with the OC panel and 10 gigabytes a second USB 3.1 card. So this is gonna be awesome. I actually, it has Velcro here, so I can showcase to you guys. Pretty awesome, this thing is a massive beast. Uh, you know, all the, all the PCI slots I need, just everything I need in this one motherboard. And uh, I think it's phenomenal. And it, it does have some LED lights, if I'm not mistaken. I think, uh, I forget if it's the RBG lights on the logo, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really, I don't really care too much about like LED lights and whatnot. I'm not that into it. I probably will eventually in the near future make sure that I have like a really good looking uh, PC in terms of, you know, aesthetics and everything. But I think this is an awesome motherboard and I highly recommend it if you can get one. And the last thing, guys, is the case. I ended up going with the H1 from Zalman. This is a pretty awesome case. I really, really like it. I know some people out there have had varying experiences with different cases. The reason I went with this full tower case is literally for the gimmick that it had, the vents at the top. Uh, if you guys don't know, this case actually comes with vents at the top right here. And it's pretty crazy because you can set a certain temperature and if your computer, the internal, you know, the internal components and everything start to exceed a certain temperature, 
the vents at the top will actually open and the fans will turn on. So it's pretty cool. I'll probably showcase this to you guys once, uh, once I have the entire build done. But this is a really awesome case. I really like it. I think it's pretty stylish. Uh, the left hand side or right hand side, I forget, it depends how you look at it, but uh, the way that it's going to be in, on my PC build from the left hand side when you walk in my room, you'll be able to see the left hand panel. Uh, the majority of, majority of the left is glass, it does cover up like all the drives and everything, but you will be able to see the graphics card, the motherboard, and the CPU cooling. So it's going to be pretty awesome. I think this is an awesome case overall, I think it's pretty durable, and I think it's a relatively affordable case in comparison to a lot of the other cases that I saw. So I'm excited to use this case, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to show you guys the full PC build once it's done, but those are all the components. Alright guys, so that is my PC build, those are all the specs, that is what I will be working with. Currently, like I said, I don't have a hard drive that I'm going to put in this yet, I don't have one yet in mind. I'll probably get, you know, just like a basic terabyte if anything, as well as maybe some other things I don't have, like I didn't go out of my way to get like an additional keyboard or mouse or a specific monitor. Uh, right now, I just care about the PC build, I'll probably worry about the monitor and all that stuff later since I already do have most of those components at home from a previous PC. So for now, this PC and this beast is going to hopefully get me through the next, you know, five to six years without any, you know, necessary new parts or anything along those lines. I think it'll be great for streaming, editing, rendering, etc. It'll just improve, you know, if I ever want to get into gaming as far as PC gaming, I definitely really like this new game. Uh, it's not a new game, but it's H1Z1. I really just enjoyed watching it online from a couple of my favorite YouTubers, and uh, it's just a, a blast to watch. I don't know if, I don't think I'll ever play the game, but if I do, I definitely use this thing for it. I'm very excited to bring you guys more content courtesy of this beast, so thank you for, to everyone who helped me build it. This is going to be my PC build. Like I said, all these parts are, you know, already what I'm, what I'm committed to, so uh, maybe down the line if I, if I decide it's necessary to change up anything, I will try something new out. Let me know what you guys think. What are you guys' PC builds? Maybe you guys still have some suggestions uh, when I put this PC build together. If you guys want to maybe see like a time lapse or something when I put it together this weekend. Uh, please drop a thumbs up and comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you already haven't. I'll see you guys next time. And follow me on Twitter at H95 if you guys already don't. See you guys. Have a blast. And I wish you all the greatest weekend weekend. Later, guys.